All right, everybody, welcome back! Woo! We're floating through space, baby! Wow! So, hello, Sega Tony. Ah, oops, sorry. Nin Tony. How are you doing today? Um, this looks like a, a caramel piece of popcorn. It's like, you know, you get this, like, uh, triple containers, like cheese... Butter, and then they got the, the caramel, caramel, whatever. This is uh, kind of what it looks like. Ew. I usually kick those to the side, you know. Ew, I, who wants to eat those? So this is the final boss fight from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I I don't remember if this was in just uh, Sonic 3. Or you had to play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I don't remember. I forget. <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, so like, there. Oh, you know what? Let me pause this at the right time. Wait, the stage is moving! Oh no. Wait, oh my gosh. Did you just see that? It's Charlotte's Web. Oh! You thought you're some little magician, huh? You s now you see me, now you don't. Look, stop with these magic tricks already. What is this? What, why is this here? You'll have to explain that to me, Sega Tony. I have no idea. Some sort of illusion. You should be in the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. <laughs> Look at this stage I made. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? This is... Uh, we're, we're just like floating <clears throat> out in outer space with some uh, Cocoa Puff chunks, you know? So, yeah, this is where you, like, fight Eggman. Dr. Ivo Robotnik. Come on, Sonic. You cannot defeat me. You know what? He may be a he may be a hedgehog that eats chili dogs, which is also... He's eating another animal. But he, he saves animals, which is kind of counterintuitive. You know what? We will defeat you, Dr. Ivo Robotnik. We will defeat you, you know? But yeah, awesome stage, man. Yeah, um, you got like the little rings, the Funyun rings. <clears throat> you know, everybody's trying to make them all different shapes and sizes each time. You know, like uh, you got like the triangle rings, you got the the square rings. What is what is this? What's with these rings? Why is there a war on rings? But yeah, man, awesome job. Yeah, um, you keep it up, Sega Tony. All right, so this is uh, let, I'll let it load. This is the King Dice boss fight, uh, boss fight, <laughs> boss fight from Cuphead. Um, so you know King Dice, you go to his old casino, isn't it the Devil's Casino? Anyways, so. So basically, you have like these safe spaces and you roll dice. You uh, do the parry. Whatever that little little uh, kazoo noise. Kazoo! I like to sing, dance, play, pretend, and I like to have fun, 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 fun. And then his head explodes. Like, you're crazy, kid. You're crazy, man. But yeah, you have like these little... Um, safe spaces because you know he's like 30 years old now that was like in the 80s like he's probably looking back on his life like what have i done what did my parents hire me that to do that for like it was not worth the, the five lollipops they gave me but yeah in a, in a domino's gift card <laughs> but yeah you like do the you you parry that and you go one two three and then you land a safe space and he's like ha 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 he, like, claps his hands together. He's like, ha, ha. And, uh, whatever. And, uh... Blah, 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 blah. So, he takes you to, like, mini boss fights. Like, the, the monkey. Oh, ah, ah, ah! And then you have, uh... There's, like, the, the train ghost thing. Not, like, the, the... The boss fight before you enter this area. There's, like, a... <clears throat> there's, like, a, a shoot... Uh, air... An air level part where you're like shooting at a ghost thingy or whatever. I don't remember. 
Yeah, but when you get to the end, you fight him. You have to, like, parry off his gloves. It makes that, that kazoo noise. Kazoo! And then you, like, punch him. Get out of here. Die. You shall die. You, you know, when your back is slouched over like that, you're going to have some neck issues. But, yeah, man. Um, you know, your GD cons. No one out pizzas the hut, baby. Whoa! You made a Pizza Hut stage. Now make a Domino's one. I don't like Domino's, but you know, you can do that. Just kidding. But yeah, I still haven't even watched that Cuphead uh, Netflix show. I don't even have Netflix. I don't have any any streaming service. But yeah, man. Awesome stage, GD Cons. What does the GD stand for? Uh, Gnome. Gnome Domino's. <laughs> Hmm, I don't know. Anyways, awesome stage, man. Yeah, you keep it up. Alright, so... This stage is based off of the game... Uh, Blasto. It's like a PS1 game. I've never even heard of it. More of a, you know, Nintendo guy. But, uh, yeah, so... This... That was a joke. I like all consoles. But, so, uh, huh, this is some, some, uh, illusionist layers right here. It's like a 3D perspective or something, blah, blah. So, yeah, this is from Blasto. It's like a PS1 game. It looked like a uh, 3D platformer, but you have like a, like a space gun. Buzz, 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 light you're to the rescue. No. You are a toy. You are one weird space cowboy. But, yeah, like, look at this, man. Is that a... Is this a space hooker? Hello, boys! Get away from me. But, welcome to Uranus. Which is... You could interpret that a different way. Um... <clears throat> but, you know, this, this is like a floating light post. Woo! Um... That's interesting. Yeah, why is there a space hooker? I don't have any money on me. Uh, stay away from me, please. This is interesting. Who who built a sign in outer space that says this? Interesting. Yeah, I don't... I don't know... The, the whole space hooker thing is, like, throwing me off. <laughs> Why is this here? <laughs> Why? Maybe that's, like, someone you have to <clears throat> save. I don't know. I, I don't know. But here's your, like, spaceship, I guess. Zero! You just landed here. I need a bus to bikini bottom. Next? Huh? Next! Uh, okay. It's my turn. It's my turn to get off this filthy planet. But there's like a crescent moon. But it's like, where's the sun? Because, you know, like the sun's shadow is what causes that or something. You know, how how of a blue. Howdy do. But yeah, like, die! Die, you idiot! And die again! Well, I just pushed her off. Ah! You know, if you went into outer space unclothed, you would you would just like freeze to death. But also, like the pressure wouldn't it make your body explode? Maybe she's a mannequin. How would a mannequin survive in outer space? I don't know. Ask Vsauce. Hey guys, Michael here. Vsauce. What would happen if you put a mannequin in outer space, but also dress them in a, in a very lewd outfit? I don't know. Why would you... Why would you want to test that out anyways? Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, Bill, we have to get back to filming for Disney Channel. I'm sorry, but we need to find out what would happen. Yeah, but awesome stage, man. Yeah, I just don't know... Uh, what's going on here, but yeah, awesome stage, man. Keep it up.
All right, so this is the last stage. This is Rainbow Road from Super Smash Bros. 3DS. And I will tell you, man, this looks this looks really, really nice how you pulled it off. So, this was a stage in Smash Bros. 3DS, but it's like based on the Mario Kart uh, 7 Rainbow Road. That's the only Mario Kart I haven't played. I do have a 3DS, but I got it like in 2015. I'm not really sure when Mario Kart 7 came out. I think it was like 2011, wasn't it? I don't remember. But I like these item blocks, how you drew like the, the blue outline on the question mark. So this little hole right here, I think is awesome how you did that. I was wondering how you pulled it off, because in the Discord image, it looked like, like a perfectly cut hole. Obviously, like, if you're going to, like, do this, it's not going to be, like, a perfect shape, and that's totally fine. But I like how you pulled it off. And then you made it, like, swerve around like that. Yeah, I, I love Smash Bros. 3DS. Uh, it actually came out before the Wii U version, by, like, a whole month, I believe. It came out, like, October 2014. Smash Bros. 4 on the Wii U came out in November, I think. But yeah, I like how you made this, uh, the shooting star spin. You have the rocket with the, with the moon. Is that Saturn? Is that the planet Saturn? It's also spinning. You know what's interesting? Saturn is the sixth planet furthest from the sun. And Earth is like the third, isn't it? So, like, where is this taking place? I don't know. I want to go home. Because, like, if you can see Saturn, it's like, like, how far am I away from Earth? I will never be able to have another Diet Coke again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> but we can use this shooting star. I want a shooting star. No, Rihanna, you stay put. Did she sing that or is that Taylor Swift? I don't know. Um, Because she made that one song. I'm I'm 12 going on 13. Why would you make a song by the Taylor Swift, huh? What's wrong with you? But yeah, I'm like, uh, I don't know how gravity works, but I don't think this planet's supposed to go upside down. Like, all the quagronauts are, like, flying. Like, oh my god. Because, you know, like, Earth... Earth spins, like... It just spins. Like, this thing is going, like, a three full... Uh, full 360 no-scope. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. Awesome stages, everybody. This kind of looks like a fruit roll-up. I haven't, haven't had one of those since I was a kid. They still make those? I don't know. Yeah, awesome stages, man. Everybody, you keep them up. Yay, bye-bye.